do half our face with expensive makeup and the other half with affordable makeup. Sorry, I had to get you with the clickbait line. The last time I did this challenge, I have gotten new products and look at what everything we are working with. But first we gotta start off with some skin prep and this side is going to be expensive and this side is going to be affordable. I honestly can't remember the price of all of these products so I will be putting them up on the screen. But a lot of these products are not supposed to be dupes, they're just supposed to be a more affordable option. Okay, next up for a clear brow gel on the expensive side, we have the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. If you know me, you know this is one of my favorite brow gels. Like I said, don't get it twisted because a lot of these products are not each other's dupe, especially in this case of this brow gel because this one has more of like a soft medium hold and it's not really like a laminated look, kind of like the Benefit is. Okay, and now it's time to fill the brows in. Honestly, I don't really have an expensive brow option. If you know, you know, I will forever. I've bought in like 10 of these NYX Lift and Snatch brow pins. It's the most perfect brow in literally seconds and it's still affordable. And okay, next up on the affordable side, honestly, I literally literally had to dig. This is the Makeup Revolution Brow Pencil in shade medium brown. I'm not a fan. Sharpenable pencil, honestly. I just feel like they're too... Okay, I know I said this isn't like a duping video, but in this case, it is. So on the expensive side, of course, I have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and on the affordable side, cheap actually. I have the Timu dupe and this is actually a dupe of the e.l.f. Power Grip. I personally like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer because it's sticky but it's not too sticky where I can blend it easily into my skin. I haven't used this primer since the day I did a video on it. It's actually way easier to blend than the e.l.f. Okay Timu, it's just an affordable option and it's the e.l.f. Soft Glam. And for this only being an $8 foundation, this leaves such a pretty finish and it wears super nice throughout the day. Another favorite foundation of mine is the Lancome Taunty Doll. This is also another great skin like finish gives you great coverage and it has oil controlling properties you can definitely clearly see a difference the Lancome is definitely more of a matte skin like blurred finish as opposed to the elf which has a little bit more of a glow and bringing out just a little bit more of my texture and now it's time for concealer on the expensive side I'm going with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer if you're looking for a full coverage wears so nicely throughout the day and doesn't crease this is your go-to. And on the more affordable side is the NYX Pro Stick. I will definitely say the main difference between these two is that this one feels less makeup-y on the skin. They also blend out so nicely under the eye and literally takes you just a couple of seconds and already those colors look so freaking close. And next up, it's time to warm up this face. And for the expensive side, I have the Milk Makeup Bronzing Sticks and they sent me a PR package with a whole bunch of shades and none of mine twist up. So I've been having to dig her out because I love this contour bronzer shade and it blends out like like a literal dream. And next up for the affordable side is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I haven't used this in such a long time, y'all. But apparently I used to love it because I hit pan and tell me, those shades are pretty much identical. Okay, now it's time for our liquid blush or cream. And on the expensive side, I'm going in with the new House Labs Color Fuse. And on the more affordable side, I'm going in with the new ColourPop Liquid Blushes. These, tell me this is not so cute. Time to set this mug. And I don't have a affordable loose powder option. So we're just gonna do pressed powders for today. On the expensive side, Side, I'm going in with the MAC Skin Finish in shade Light. I honestly love this powder so much, especially when I want to keep a little bit of the glow and hydration in my skin. It's going to be more of a full coverage, so I'm going to try and just use a controlled amount. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell a difference. Also, this one just has a special place in my heart because it was one of the most expensive bronzers that I bought with my own money. Affordable side, it is the Makeup Revolution. I got this in an advent calendar or the actual original price on this, but I tried to guess based on their other bronzers. Personally, I don't like this bronzer at all because it's just a little too warm, too pigmented, kind of hard to work with, and also every time I put it on top of my blush, tell me why that looks red. Like, it's supposed to look bronzy. For blush, I'm going with the MAC mineralized blush in shade love thing this is honestly so pretty it just gives you like a little glow if you know you know during holiday time at ulta they have like bins where you pick like five things for five dollars or ten things for ten dollars this is one of the things and i only got this one because that's all i wanted out of the bin so it came out to like two dollars play-dohs on this side for the affordable side we have the makeup revolution mac lip liner in a strip down and then la girl in maple glaze dior lipstick and nyx smooth whip Nick black honey lip oil elf lip oil natasha denona eyeshadow la colors eyeshadow Final Finally, lastly for mascara, on the expensive side, we have the Lancome Difficils. And on the affordable side, we have the Lottie London Super Fake. Honestly, I'm not a fan of either one of these mascaras. I'm definitely more of a MAC Stack or Lancome e Doll Mascara Girly. And lastly, setting spray to set everything in place, even though I'm about to take it off. Here's the final look, and this is how the makeup looks with half expensive and half affordable. And here's the final total because I don't remember and I'm not adding it up until I'm editing, so. And which side is your favorite? Don't forget to comment a makeup challenge you want to see me do next because, baby, I'm not as creative as y'all are.